Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use a simulated account, which is directly built into the MotivWave trading platform. So, like I said, if you're not familiar with it, MotivWave actually has a great feature that has a simulated paper trading account built directly into the platform, so you can trade off of live data just using a simulated account and simulated currency. Now to do this, it's really easy. All you need to do is head up into the top left-hand corner Click on the configure tab, work your way down to preferences here. Now within preferences, you'll want to have the main general tab selected. This is the one in the far top left here. And then directly underneath that, that sub level of the general tab, scroll all the way over to the right and you should see simulated account. Now just a little disclaimer here and as it reads on the preferences tab here, the simulated account is a paper trading account that locally tracks orders, positions, and trades against a virtual account. When placing orders against this account, no actual information is transmitted to your broker. Now, that being said, we can go ahead and enable this. This will enable the simulated paper trading account. From here, we'll need to just add a bit of a customization and choose the different options here if we need them. So, of course, by the base currency is set to US dollars. If you like to change your currency, you can just click down this drop down menu and select from whatever currency your country uses if you need to. Otherwise, by default, it should be set to US dollars. And then you have two little check marks, check boxes that you can choose from. The fill immediate, which of course, the second you place your trade, it's gonna get filled immediately. This may be helpful to some, but of course, if you wanna test out a strategy and wait on the market, I'd probably suggest for this to be disabled. That being said, it really depends on what you'd like to test. So again, if you're waiting on specific market conditions to see if your method will work or not, you probably wanna disable this. If you don't really care and you just wanna mess around with the platform and check out the actual order entry features, you might wanna keep this enabled. Now onto the next option, including commission. If you are seriously testing a strategy, of course, commission will be added into effect, so this may have an effect on profits and losses and things of that nature. If you're looking for the most accurate representation of what an actual live trade would be, I suggest to keep this enabled. So that being said, once you have everything configured appropriately, we can click apply and then OK. Now, just because that's enabled, you're not automatically in paper trading mode. The environment itself is still live, but we just need to make sure when placing our orders that we're actually placing it through the simulated account. And you can confirm based off of the account tab here in the bottom left hand corner. So we'll just click that. If you've done everything correctly now, you'll probably see the simulated account here with whatever balance you set it to. Now this we're still not 100% done yet. You'll see on the far left here, there's a default column. By default, the uh, the default account that you have activated before the main trading account that you're using should be default. That being said, whenever you go to place a trade, the platform is automatically going to revert to the default trading account. So even if your intentions are to go paper trade, if I went into an order ticket right now and went to go place my order by default, it's going to revert to whatever is default. Now that's not necessarily a problem when live trading, but of course, when you are attempting to paper trade, you'll probably want it to revert to that paper trading account to avoid making mistakes, whatever the case may be. You can easily make this simulated, this new paper trading account your default by right clicking and setting as default. You'll see this now switches to Y, which represents yes. So our simulated account is default. All this pretty much means is like I kind of mentioned before, when you go into an order entry window, this is gonna be the account it automatically populates. Now we do this to avoid making mistakes because again, this is an entirely live environment. It's using live data. The only difference is it's just reverting to a simulated paper trading account using simulated funds. If you're not paying attention and you don't change this to default when paper trading, you might accidentally place a trade with your real live trading account. So just keep that in mind. And just, this is a small disclaimer before going into this. So let's actually go into our dome panel or we can place an order entry and see what happens here. And you can immediately see on our trade panel on the far right hand side, the account that is selected by default is the simulated one now. If we didn't change that in the previous window, the 2807 account, my live trading account 
would be the one that's activated by default. So again, and like I kind of previously mentioned, you can always revert or change within this section here. But if you're not paying attention or you're only focused on paper trading, you're definitely going to want to make that simulated account your default. So we can just, let's say, for example, buy a market order on the mini DAO here. As you can see, it automatically got filled. We do have the autofill option on and I did place a market order. So, of course, it's going to get filled immediately. And you can even see on my little order uh, indicator here on my chart now, the price level, it even says this is a simulated order. So you can always keep track of that here. Going back to our account page here, we can adjust based off our different positions or in our different accounts. So we can see we got filled. The ticket does say SIM. The account was associated with simulated. And again, it deducted our points here. We factored in commission. So of course that does play a factor into our profits and losses. And now you can just see what is associated with each account. And of course, this was a default like we activated it to. And if we wanted to, we can just right click on the other one, make this our default. So now when we head back to our order ticket, as you can see, this is now the default. And if I went to go place another trade without changing this, it would go to the live market. So again, just keep that in mind and just do your due diligence when paper trading so you don't accidentally place in order on the incorrect account. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Motive Wave makes it really easy to go ahead and mess around in the paper trading environment. Just keep in mind the default, and I can't stress this enough. I would always suggest to make it that default account when paper trading. You can revert. You saw how easy it was to switch back and forth at any time with a simple right click through the accounts tab. If you have any questions on how to set up a paper trading account, we'd love to help you. Post them down in the comment section below, or you can head over to our community forum, which is linked in the description the description and ask your questions there. Other than that, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Motive Wave content, psychology trading tips, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.